Hello everybody, welcome to this video, Claudemir here again, let's talk about digital video recorder. We talked about this before, there's another video here in the channel, so just subscribe to the channel, look for the videos, also hit the bell notification so you don't miss my videos, okay? This is the content of the Ultimate Security Camera Guide, you also find the link here so you can click and go for it, right? So let's talk about digital video recorder then, here is an example of a board that's using a pro processor here from High Silicon. I'm just showing you this because there are a lot of DVRs that uses a uh, High Silicon processor, right? So if you come here, for example, you see since 2010, there's a lot of different High Silicon processor. Let's say this, for example, High 3511, High 3512, and 2011, you have more and more and more, 2014 and more. And nowadays, you still have some of this chipset in the DVRs. And if you buy a DVR that there is no brand, let's say it's not a Samsung DVR, it's not a Bosch DVR, it's not a Hike Vision DVR, usually you're gonna get a chipset that's manufactured for, uh, by some important company like High Silicon, for example. So that's important that you understand that. Of course, if your DVR has a brand like Pelco, Bosch, Samsung, Panasonic, you can go to their website and download the firmware and update your DVR. But if you're using just Chinese devices that there is no brand, be careful and update them because there are some things related to security. You have to update them, okay? So usually if you see your DVR with a system login like this one you have a high silicon chipset okay here is an example of a menu this is another language but you also have this kind of menu here so be careful if you have those usually it's a chinese manufacturer in expensive dvr you got to update them okay here's another example looks vision dvr it's also the same you can have access directly to the DVR using a monitor and a mouse, or you can also access the DVR using the web browser, okay? And here are some details I wanna talk about, some parameters you have here like resolution, frame rate, video compression, quality compression, bit rate recording days, daily recording, scene activity in continuous or event recordings. All of those parameters are important to calculate how many days you're going to record. Let's say you have 16 cameras recording your DVR. You got to know uh, how many days you're going to record, okay? So you need to understand, for example, you need to know which codec you're using. Let's say MPEG-4, H264, H265. Here you can compress more using H265, but also needs more CPU in your computer to decompress it because it's a codec, it's a compressor, decompressor, right? H64 compress a lot, not as much as H65, but uh, at the CPU level, when you're decompressing, you need less power, right? Uh, you need a less powerful CPU to decompress it. So you got to understand, all of these parameters, I have more videos about this. That's the reason I ask you to subscribe to the channel. And here, when you go to a calculator like this one, you get this from the manufacturer. Let's say you're using Samsung DVR. In this example, it's a Samsung DVR. You got this calculator from Samsung, okay? There are generic calculation around, so you can like estimate how much uh, you're going to need for recording. I have a link here in the description for a generic calculator that calculates for different brands and estimate uh, how much bandwidth you need and how much storage you need. But if you have the from the manufacturer, it's good to use it. Let's say here, for example, you, if you have a Samsung DVR, you're going to use this one. And here you choose the, uh, the number of channel you're going to turn on. If you have camera in all of them, of course, you're going to turn it on all of them. Here's a 16 channel. Here's the video size, meaning the resolution. I'm using 4 SIF, so you turn on 4 SIF for everything here. The quality, level four, depending on the brand, you're going, you're going to have different levels of quality. That's not universal. Samsung calls that level four. I think it's the middle one, right? If you have like from one, 
to 10, I'm guessing. So you're using level four. Here the frame rate, so you got to use like 15 to have like good movement in your video. And audio is off for every channel. I'm not using audio here. So I input the value here, 30 days I want to record. And here I have the result, 6.45 terabytes is necessary uh, for my hard drive. So I need to buy hard drive at least with seven terabytes. And it's also important that you buy the correct hard drive. I have another video talking about that here in the channel. You don't use a regular hard drive. You need to buy the correct hard drive that's designed to work with CCTV, right? So I have a link here in the description so you can buy the correct hard drive. Don't use your computer's hard drive. It's not designed to work with DVRs. There are specific hard drives designed to work with DVRs, okay? Again, link here in the description. And also don't forget, subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up, hit the bell notification so you can receive more information about videos like this one. So thank you very much and I see you in the next video.